Gianair, greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode of my Revelation Mist 4 Revelation DIS Play. So, as you may recall, we left off with this interesting puzzle. Uh, I don't actually. <laughs> I haven't made any progress or any sorts of things, so I think I will just begin messing with it and see if I can randomly stumble across the solution. If not, then I will actually have to think about it, and won't that be a drag? But, okay, so we've got two and two and four, and it's all about sort of addition and sort of fooling around with manipulating the numbers so that you can reduce it down to the numbers that you need and that kind of thing. Uh, that's too many for that. So we need, how many do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five there. So we need, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it might be useful that that's seven. Actually, that's, that's seven, that's four. So that'll give us three here. Ooh, 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 that looks very promising indeed. Uh, boom, ba ba boom, ba bang, ba bing, be doop doop. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and do a similar thing there again. Move all of these into there as well. Overload this one, and then move the excess into there. So that we're let. Ooh, no. That's not what I. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I was being brilliant. I really did. Uh, so let's see. If I then. If I then power the... Let me try throwing those in there. Don't do that. No, there we go. Okay. And then throw those in there and see what that leaves me with. No, that's three. Uh, so what am I doing here? How do I need to do this? Uh, I am left with... Yeah. Ooh, ooh. You know what I can do? I can do this. And then that that'll give me that'll take out the additional one that I was getting left with of those pairs of threes and all that. Excellent, and now I can move that three into there, get a perfect five. Kaboom! Hurrah! Hurrah! Hazay! Hazoo! Haringi! Gading! So cool! Very nice, very nice, very nice. That's all set, and I don't think it'll let me mess with it anymore. Um Oh no, it's it just automatically paged me out to let me know. No, you're, you're done here. It's okay. It's all good. You don't need to do anything more. How do I... How do I... How do I okay, there we go. So... What next? What am I doing next? Perhaps I should take a moment to actually admire some of the scenery and crazy sort of stuff there uh, to attempt to justify this as a DIS play. Uh, because despite the fact that it is simply an amazing game, I can also testify it testify to it being an amazing game in other ways and so forth and so on. Uh, and in... Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, that's this thing. <coughs> eh. Excuse me, dying. So yes, magnification on a leaf is cool. Uh, ra rather unrelated to most things, but... This, the, this would be the biggest magnification. Very nice, very nice. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but it's very nice. It's very cool. Uh, and then that would reset it back to the beginning again. Uh, so let's see. I'm in a awkward hand mode there. Uh, all kinds of books and potted plants. Okay, yep, that's locked. I thought it was. I seem to remember where that goes, but it wouldn't make much sense to anyone who didn't actually play the other games anyway, so it's no big deal. Check this out. We've got uh no. Ah. Very, very pretty lily. Which I can Oh, I can't tap it. I can't tap it. Ah That that's sad. I, I was hoping that I'd be able to tap it. Okay. Uh can I close it again? I wanna close it. I don't wanna leave that oh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna leave it open. Oh no I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm better than Oh, okay, yep, and this is this is one of the... <laughs> I already solved the puzzle, but there's one of the clues. Um, but yeah, this this, um, this room here, uh, it's actually got 
an open ceiling. Interesting. I mean, it, it, it's, I mean glass, but it's sort of got that open feel to it, um, with just enough material to the struts to make it feel just a bit enclosed, uh, which is really quite a cool effect. Same with most of these. Um, okay. And these are, these are more or less the same way, although it uses a more opaque glass on the sides. That's, that's a cool, that's a cool thing to note as well, uh, because it gives the sides a bit more solidity, um, so, solid, solid sort of character without making them totally opaque. Um, and I also love these gigantic leaf things in the middle. Uh, it sort of really establishes, and it sort of opens up the bottom floor as well. Well, closes it off, but sort of lends a lot of character to the greenhouse area. It's very nice. One of these you can go down a level. I thought it was this one. Maybe it's the other one. Yeah, no, I think it's the other one. Let me try and go down before I trigger anything too major, which I believe is actually coming up. Ah, yes, yes, okay, here's here's the ladder downward. Nice wooden planking down here. Hello. Can't talk right now. I'm trying to remember the song I learned on Serenia, but it's really hard. That is a very strangely shaped flute thing. Hmm. But yeah, we've got a very in oh <laughs> lens flare. I've got to get it perfect because I promised to play to my brother next time I see him. Hmm. Sorry, talking over you there. Um, going off on tangents. Um, but yeah, you've got leaves sort of arching overhead very nicely. Very amazingly intricate. <laughs> that's that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. I love it. There is no possible need for you to ever want to do that, other than to just sort of spraying the plant back and forth. Sure, why not? Uh, so I guess that's basically it through here. And I'm not sure how well a lot of this would apply to Minecraft, at least in specific terms. Because uh, obviously a lot of it is far too finely detailed in order to, you know, be directly applicable. And you can't get any of these beautiful organic shapes uh, without going gigantic scale. But, I mean, I'll, I'll probably give it a shot anyway. We shall see. And certainly certain influences... <coughs> Excuse me, my throat does not feel like cooperating today. Um, certainly certain influences can be carried over and so forth. <laughs> that pixelization. <laughs> uh, Alright. So I believe the next step would be to go over here. Um, and if I feel like it, I might um, also load previous saved games and so forth to access previously accessible... Um, areas and stuff if I absolutely need to to say something that I forgot or something but in general I think that's gonna be more or less okay I guess I'm not supposed to maybe I'm supposed to press the button ah oh look at that <laughs> I did something oh yeah I definitely did something that is that is amazing Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is fantastic. That that just screams power. Oh, that is awesome. Yes, indeed. Now, how Atris exactly managed to shut all of this down by overloading a couple circuits, I am not sure. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Hello! Cutscene, you know, something weird is happening.
Ow! <laughs> Ow. Hit on the head with a lamp post, I think? That's... Phew! <laughs> yeah. So, knocked unconscious, and now it is nighttime! So... This is sort of... When the shit legitimately hits the fan. Uh... And I, of course, cannot go back to the dam or over into that area of the, um, age anymore. I can only go this way. Try and figure out what's going on. Uh, so... Yeah, pretty much everything is... More or less everything's the same, but you've got some really cool lighting effects to digress once and more, what, what, once and more, once, and once, once again, once again into the um, DIS play sort of aspect, and those bugs do in fact glow. That is, that is very nice indeed. Uh, makes me happy. These, I believe, while I'm over here, I can check. Yeah, it's now automatically fully lit, and I can't mess with it, so I can't mess it up. So everything is in fact receiving power at this point. All systems should be fully operational. And we don't know where Yisha is! Uh, <laughs> Yisha is gone! Uh, or at least she's, you know... We saw her heading that way, and then we... Something blew up, and we ended up hit on the head with a lamp pole, and knocked out for who knows how many hours, now it's night. Possibly even many, many more hours if day-night cycles happen differently on this planet. Wherever this is, in whatever solar system, who knows? Uh, but I believe I can get this going. Hello? Okay, it's being finicky. Uh, some of these things, uh, I did not really remember that, but some of these thingummies, you have to pull them all the way, and you have to manually pull it. Uh, if you don't pull it all the way, then it doesn't like it. Uh, let me go down. I don't think I was able to go down before. This is quite cool. They've installed this rail underneath, um, which allows this elevator to go down, over, and up, uh, which is quite an interesting concept. If you could do <laughs> if you could do more with pistons than you can in Minecraft, it might be feasible, but. I doubt that I'd be able to get anything quite that complex. An elevator would be crazy enough. Uh, but as you can see... Uh, I'm probably doing things out of order just because I'm sort of forgetting how things are done and what things I'm... Like, what, what order things happen in. Although obviously the game is also designed so that you can't exactly mess anything up. Yeah, it's just gonna be kind of a wild ride, but this is, I don't think I could get here before, or if I did, or if I could, I didn't, uh, I remember that much. Um, interesting that we can see some light coming from down there, I will investigate that in just a moment. I will actually look around here though, because it is probably one of the main focal points of this age, aside from like the lab, the um, lab up there, uh, and it is quite an interesting structure. We've got um, some stone floors, uh, wood floors, then a slightly raised stone floor, a uh, stone half wall, mostly open but with some wood trimming to give the structure form, central fireplace, uh, with some really cool texturing and everything. I, I, I love it, I love it. And again, it's probably too small to really be applied to Minecraft. But oh well. Um, so you may recognize Yisha right over there. Um, as well as Cirrus. And his counterpart, Akinar. So... Those are the two brothers who are so infamous and dangerous. They needed to be trapped away in their own ages. 
This, I believe, actually, I think this is a screenshot from Exile, the third game. Uh, that is interesting, I never noticed that before, but it's like a sepia tone screenshot from part of that game. That's very interesting. But yeah, check this out. Check this out. It's a fully furnished kitchen. Uh, very, like, reimagined indoor plumbing. Uh, I like this. This is neat. It's kinda... <laughs> water effects. Uh, can I... Ah. Oh yeah, look at them water effects. Very nice, very nice. I should definitely look back in here a little longer on. I'm probably actually... I, I should probably just... <laughs> Aside from the fact that you guys are all probably yelling at your screen, just get on with it already! We don't care about your rafters and your texturing and all of these kinds of things. Uh, and incidentally, if you feel like mentioning in the comments what you are enjoying about this series and what I should focus on and so forth, I think that calls the elevator. Yeah, okay. Um, that would be awesome. Um, but yes, at this stage, I think I will continue on with what I believe would be the next general step. Um, that's the main sort of living area. I happen to remember that that is Yisha's, uh, room down there. Uh, and this is, of course, the parents' bedroom. But this is Yisha's last known location, so it is where it would be logical to look for her. So... She'll go ahead and do that. And if if you don't already know, uh, one of the um, sort of classic things about um, Myst games, or at least you know, sort of a harkening back to the original Myst game, is things in fireplaces. In the original Myst game, um, one of the things that one does is one clambers into a fireplace and solves a puzzle there. Um, and here, it's pretty apparent that that's where you're supposed to go once again. Um, but I guess yeah, okay, that's something I can look at. I'll go ahead and do it uh, because it clearly wants me to. Look at that! Okay, it sort of directed my camera there. Uh, so let me go ahead and okay, yeah, free up my camera. This is Yisha's necklace, which she said was able to show her things. It's flashing. It is able to show visions of the past and that kind of thing, uh, which may or may not have been obvious and may or may not have been sort of spoilery, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a very interesting gameplay device from that sort of direction as well, just because it's you know it allows the storyline to really sort of develop and emerge through cutscenes that don't feel quite as, you know, uh, immersion breaking. Now someplace, I'm looking for <laughs> where you're legitimately supposed to find the information. Uh, ah, ah, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> lamp, lamp, lasers, there is a code panel in the fireplace. You need to turn both lamps on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, yes. So, so I, I, I'm not totally sure exactly what I'm supposed to do, but I think it has something to do with turning both the lamps on. Uh, that is... I, I'm wondering if they were just sort of trying to start the player off easy to begin with. Oh, um, and with the um, amulet, yeah, it'll play that little noise. Um, it'll start blinking whenever it has something to tell you. Uh, this, incidentally, is a picture of Mist Island. That's the iconic clock tower in the background. I'll keep rambling on about references to previous games. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just ignore me and eventually I'll move on. Uh, <laughs> That was such a good day. I wish... Oh, I wish so many things, Atris. Tell me again we did the right thing. Mm. Doubts, guilt, heartache, trapping your sons in 
Death Ages for horrible, terrible crimes they committed. <sighs> so this is an entertaining puzzle. I remember it causing incredible amounts of heartache back in the day, but then turning out to be relatively simple. As you can see, when you touch any of these little um, squares here, it lights up the four directly adjacent and not the square itself. So if I just go through process of elimination, to get those four I would basically need to hit that one, to get these three I need to get that one, and those four to get that one, that, 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 that. Then I can hit that one, and that one. If you do any of these wrong, then obviously it completely messes up the pattern and it's ten times more difficult. But, if you do it that way, kabloom! Actually, it's crazy. <laughs> I could have pretended to be stupid and spent 5,000 years on it, but I don't feel like that. I'll probably have certain amounts of trouble with more legitimately difficult puzzles, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, so if you remember from the introduction, this is a very relevant piece of... Um, it's a, I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing which is relevant. And symbol of the game. Or... Not sure exactly what it's a symbol of, but it's a cool symbol. Patience, my love. We've almost finished the linking chamber. There's just a security seal to install. But we will see our sons again soon, I promise you. They wanted, and with good reason, they wanted to um, be sure that they had plenty of security and precautionary measures and so forth, and... Ha! Ah, well, we, we all know where that turned out. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, that, I believe, is where we were seeing from up above. Uh, this is actually way down deep in the thing there. Um, and if it's not obvious, this was continuous all the way around and it was blasted right the heck off its hinges. Like, this, this would have been quite the impressive vault, but it was just blown to bits by something incredibly powerful, uh, as you can see. So let's go right ahead and check this on out. It spins around like a crazy eyeball of some kind. It opens up majestically for the sole purpose of providing a dramatic clip for the introduction and the trailer. <laughs> don't know why Atris would have designed it quite like this, but it's cool, it's definitely cool, and he has a flair for this kind of thing, you see it throughout the games. Uh, I may well end up playing the other games, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, The floor stays static while the uh, outer sphere moves around and the books rotate inward. So, I guess later I will go back and check out some more memories around Tamana with the amulet, but for now, there are these books to go to, and these books to investigate. As you can see, my cursor turns into an open palm on top of them. Uh, these are the aforementioned linking books, if, you've, if you watched the other video. Uh, if you did not watch the... Hmm, preamble video thing that I put out. Um, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of storyline and sort of explanation to go with this, but put very simply, in this game there are books that can take you to other worlds, and I won't spend too much more time on it than that, and I will dive right in. Um, and I'm not sure which to go to first, but if you might recognize, this book is red, and this book is blue. I think, I think I'm actually gonna go for the blue book first. The blue book was where Akinar ended up. This is, <laughs> this is beautiful. I love it. This is classic mist, and it is truly awesome. Cutscene, of course, not really fully rendered in 3D. 
graphics just weren't there, but it's still, it's still cool. It's still really cool. So here we can see the, um, linking chamber as it would have existed. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. There is still, still a bit of zappy electricity going on and brittle things all over the place falling, crumbling to pieces. Um, here would be the book back to Tamana, um, and I would be able to link back if I wanted to, but I do not want to, for there is uh, an entire area to explore. I'll probably take my time a bit and check things out, such as this. That sure sounds familiar. So, Sheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
astounding, while simultaneously giving it a thoroughly barren and dead sort of aesthetic. Um, so there is there is a very big skeleton we've got, um, and some kind of totem pole sort of thing, and the ship. I love these rock formations, by the way. Absolutely awesome. Oh, oh, dead, dead fish. E. <laughs> Whoa, dead fish with many eyes. I, I don't want to poke it. No. <laughs> what are you doing, stranger? I, I, I don't know what you're doing. The wreckage is very artfully placed all over the place. It's really cool. You've got all this debris. Um, and this, which looks at first like nothing more than wreckage. Uh, I guess it has been... it has not been long enough since I have played this game, because I do remember roughly what I'm doing here. Uh, sort of. Do you remember that you can move these cannonballs into the box here, sort of bump against each other and make room? I'll just move them all in, sure, why not, and then see what happens. Uh, so that's going to end up as a counterweight, because over here I can't move anything. Oh, oh, I need to move that to there. Ah, there we go. Now I can move these into here, and that way, I'll try two, I'll try two. Uh, can I move this back? Yes. Hello. Like, oh, 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 you want me to... Oh, oh, okay, there we go, there we go. There we go. Uh, then let me... Let me step in and... If I've gotten incredibly lucky, then it'll work first try without any effort whatsoever. Then... Oh, no, oop, okay. Whatever. Click, 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 click. Uh, uh, no. I... <laughs> uh. Oh, 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 I see what's happening. I'm trying to lift the box. I thought I was just failing with the mouse controls for a second, but no, I'm trying to lift the box, but it is too heavy. So clearly, you must use fewer cannonballs. <laughs> this area is amazing. Check out that stuff, the, 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 um, the surf crashing against the rocks in the backdrop. Uh, so let's see if I can pick that up. I've never really done, uh, ooh, hi. <laughs> like I was saying, I've never really done a playthrough of a game quite like this before, so I'm not sure. Ha, ha, there we go, there we go. Now it's happening, now it's happening. That looks promising. So it's sort of a winch thing that, that sort of clicks into place and that kind of thing. Cool, very cool. Uh, but yeah, I've never really done a uh, game quite like this, so bear with me. I'm still trying to figure out how I should do it. Aha! Aha, that looks promising. Very cool. Now we have a higher vantage point. Access to... A ship, which is very nice indeed. Ah, ah, okay, that's right. And then I need to slide this box over to there, which will. Ah, ah, yep, 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 yep. Thankfully, I guess we weigh less than two cannonballs because we can walk across this. Ah, excellent. As you can see, lots of gold. Any plunderer's dream, absolute heaven for Akinar back in the day. Where should I go? I'll go up. Why not? Let's go up. Up is a good direction, right? Up is a very good direction. I have no idea how long this episode is getting. I might end up trimming it down. Hi! Okay, that that's the that's the video thumbnail right there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Check that out. Oh, that's cool. I bet you have never seen anything quite like that before. Especially something which would be able to eat the fish without actually damaging it. Oh, let me poke it. It's always fun to poke things. They've got really interesting tails. Fan out and become almost these, these huge sort of beaver things. So I guess this is a favorite feasting spot. And I can duck under here. I don't... Oh. Ah! Hmm. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. That's right. This is Akna, remember? <laughs> so, okay, okay. Memory. Where's the blasted linking book? Ah, <sighs> yes. For all its wealth and splendor and so forth, there was one thing- Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's not something that I want hanging directly above my head. I'll leave now. Incidentally, please note that that was his bed over there. That was, that was his bedroom. What a pleasant man. Um, but yes, uh... It, for all of its amazingness and initial uh, wonder and so forth, this land held uh, it, it. It lacks one crucial thing, which is a linking book back, without which one is somewhat stuck. Uh, so yeah, back down the ladder, I guess, and. Let's see. There was a down, wasn't there? Ah, yes, yes. I can climb this ring downward, I believe. Ha. Very nice. I, I am able to climb that incredibly fast somehow. Alright. Oh, traps. Traps. Lovely. Oh. That, that. Oh, so, so many, so many wonderful, lovely things. Various types. Papers fluttering in the breeze. That's actually really cool. Is it is it any kind of looping animation? Are they gonna pop back or is it a one time sort of thing that are they just gonna sort of No, they're just blowing around. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh no, it is looping. Okay, never mind. It's cool though, and it looks it looks really nice. And bloody representations of footprints and other sorts of similar things. Hmm. It's a very grim area. Very... Yes! Very grim. Very incredibly grim. That is one of those things only dead and stuffed. Uh, uh, okay, yep, all kinds of materials for dissection, dissecting, and... Bone wind chimes! Nothing else quite brightens up a space like those sorts of things. And poison! Poison! Or formaldehyde, or some kind of... <sighs> something. That's, that's, that's great as well. Uh... Truly lovely man, Aknar. And uh, this is... This is all the evidence that one would need to prove that Aknar is... Truly twisted individual. Uh... He... He gets here, and the first thing he does is he starts killing and dissecting things. Because... out of sheer frustration because he can't find a linking book. Alright, let's go back down again, release the latch there. Oh, I forgot that it did that. That's clever. That's interesting. Alright. Yeah, so it sort of dumps it off on the way up. Cool reset mechanism, which would have been thoroughly unnecessary for Aknar to develop, but which makes complete sense gameplay-wise. Guess I'll head back up the cliff. Where was that? Is that over here? Yeah, it must have been over here. But the the brambles here, the, the the dead trees and stuff, and like the bits of shrubbery around the edges. 
Uh, that, that just sort of adds to the sort of transition from barren cliff face to <laughs> barren seashore. Like this single thing of ruffling leaves. Because nature always finds a way. But yes, look at this. Look at this. Man! Oh, wow. Check that out. <laughs> Yeah, look at this place! I love this game! Ha! Huh, so yes, red leaves, very large red leaves, which unfortunately does not, again, translate into Minecraft, but reddish leaves, tall stone pinnacles through the leaves, uh, which is very cool, and um, just generally, <laughs> generally just an amazing area. Uh, which manages to be barren and, you know, sort of hopeless, forlorn, and somewhat grim, and yet simultaneously lush and jungle-like. It's truly impressive. I'll go ahead and go over here now. More cave paintings. I'm not sure if this was drawn by Aknar or by someone who preceded him. Uh, uh, more cave paintings and mm, more decoration. And can't access the jungle, of course. Too bad. I can check out this tent. What's in this tent? Hmm. Cutscene. Something interesting is happening. Hello! <laughs> Oh man, I can't pretend to have forgotten about this, but oh my god, <laughs> I forgot how awesome it was. But yes. <laughs> Hello there. So yes, once again, blacked out, came to, and now I am in the middle of the jungle. There's the tent there that I flew in on like a kite. Uh, uh, I, I absolutely love this area for its scenery. And everything sort of looks tinged with blood. It's, it's really... <laughs> really yeah <laughs> so I guess um, I'm not sure how long this has been um, probably far longer than I intended it to be and I might well have by the time you're watching this I may well have it, like cut it into two episodes or something but I think I'll break it off here and then when I come back I will decide which path I will take